Hey guys, I'm excited for today's video because I have the new holiday set from Fenty Beauty, the new Glossy Posse holiday set. It's actually called the Holidays Edition. And I wanted to compare this year's Glossy Posse set to last year's. I'll link my video from last year's set down below if you wanted to look at it in a little bit more detail. So this year's set has four new shades. They're all minis, the five and a half milliliters. The regular size of the gloss bombs are nine milliliters, so you get just over half. They're actually a really good size for the minis, especially if you're not one to like use up an entire lip gloss. I think these are a really good size. And this year's set is 48 Canadian or 36 US dollars, so Last year, they also had four new shades um, plus one shade that they already had available for purchase on its own. So there were five shades total in last year's set. Also, the packaging of this year is more disposable. You've got the cardboard and plastic, whereas last year they had this tin. Um, so it was a bit more expensive. Last year's was 56 Canadian or 42 US dollars. I like the way they did it this year better than last year because um, it just makes it a little bit more affordable. I mean, it's still almost 50 bucks for four lip glosses, four little lip glosses, but I mean, you don't have to pay for the tin. I mean, this tin I've had, it's been sitting in my drawer empty for a year. So I mean, like it's nice, but I'd rather just pay less money and not have the extra packaging. And four new shades versus four new shades, plus a shade that some people might already have. I think it's better just to, I think it's just better this way, especially if it can drop the price a bit. So let's look at these four new shades that they've got this year. So the first one, we've got Baby Brute. This is a glittery, kind of light, peachy pink. It's a nice warm toned, light, gloss. Now it's not really similar to any shades from last year's set, but it is a bit similar to Sweet Mouth, which is available for individual purchase. This one's more warm toned and peachy, where Sweet Mouth is a little bit more cool toned and just pink. I think I prefer Baby Brute better. And then we have Taffy Tees, which is a bright coral pink. Um, it's quite opaque too when you swatch it and wear it. The glitter in this one is less prominent, which is nice with one of these brighter shades. It's still there, but it's not like glitter chunks. Um, and this one's the most unique shade out of this set. Not, not saying that it's a unique, new, amazing shade, but it's not similar to any existing Fenty gloss bomb shades. It's kind of nice, new, bright shade. And then we have Cake Shake, and that's the one that I'm wearing right now throughout the video. So this one is a glittery brownish copper shade. And if you want to compare it to Hot Chocolate from last year's set, I mean, they're both brown shades. Yes, they're similar in that way, but this one is a bit more warm and it swatches kind of lighter. So it's not very, the brown doesn't come out very opaque. Last year's hot chocolate is a bit more prominent um, when you're actually wearing it and it's more cool toned. I think I like Cake Shake better than hot chocolate. And finally we have Ruby Milk. So this one is a bright fuchsia. It's very opaque when you swatch it and wear it. It's very similar to Pretty Please from last year's set. Um, but Ruby Milk has a less prominent glitter, which again, being such a bright shade, I kind of like that better. Overall, I think I like this year's set better than last year. It's cheaper, they're focusing on just the new shades, so you don't have to worry about getting a shade that you might already have. The packaging is less expensive, so you're not paying a premium for this nice fancy tin to sit in your drawer for a year empty. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I can find a use for it, but I haven't, and <laughs> it's just been sitting there. Now, if you already have last year's set, do you need this year? Probably not. I mean, two of the shades are similar. We've got the fuchsia shade and the brown shade are really similar to what came in last year's. The other two shades are super nice though, the Baby Brute and the Taffy one. And like I said before, there are no other Fenty shades that kind of come close to that one. So on its own though, like not comparing it to last year, it's a great set. It's a nice variety of shades. I think glosses are a great way to pull off those brighter shades like the fuchsia and the coral because they're always come across softer. It is a great set um, for yourself or for a gift. I think it's awesome. But this is my all time favorite gloss formula. So I'm probably a little bit biased in that sense. Yeah, let me know if you're gonna pick this up. Let me know if you're gonna gift it gift to yourself, to a friend, family. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.